In today's video, we will be comparing the Lowe's credit card versus the Home Depot credit card. Hello everybody, my name is Sanad and welcome to another episode of The Clever Millionaire. So if you are a real estate investor or a homeowner that is doing some renovations around the house or you just want to buy brand new appliances, whatever the reason, you're debating which card you want to go with. So in today's video, I will go over all the pros, all the cons, and all the benefits that each card offers. We are going to compare them side by side, and at the end of this video, I will let you know my personal opinion of which card I use personally and which card I recommend. So make sure you watch the video all the way to the end. We all know home renovations cost a lot of money. It does not matter if you are simply replacing a toilet or if you are rebuilding your entire bathroom or kitchen. Both of these jobs are very expensive. So having a credit card that can save you some money is very, very beneficial. We all know material is very expensive. And now let's jump right into the comparison and compare these two cards. Both the Home Depot and the Lowe's credit card do not have an annual fee. So every single year you will not have to pay any fees whatsoever, which is absolutely awesome. Me personally, I love credit cards that do not have an annual fee. Also, the Lowe's credit card, the APR is 26.99%. But with the Home Depot, it ranges from 17.99 to 26.99%. So, both of them have zero annual fees, which is absolutely awesome, but the Lowe's credit card does slightly have a higher interest rate. But if you're like me, I never pay interest on any of my credit cards. If I make a purchase, I make sure to pay it off, that way I do not pay any interest. What's the point of having a credit card to save money if you're going to make a ton of payments on it and then pay a ton of interest? It defeats the purpose. So when it comes to the annual fee, they are tied. They both have zero annual fees. When it comes to the regular APR interest rate, Home Depot takes the win because it offers slightly lower interest rates. And now let's talk about some of the perks that these credit cards offer. With Lowe's, you will get six months special financing on purchases that are $299 or more. So if you buy anything from Lowe's for over $299, you pretty much have six months to pay it off, which is absolutely awesome. And the best part is you will not be charged any interest if you pay it off in those six months. In my opinion, this is an awesome perk that I absolutely love. On the other hand, with Home Depot, you also have a six month special financing on purchases that are $299 or more. Also, no interest if you pay it off in full in the first six months. So when it comes to this perk, it is another tie. And now let's talk about the rewards. This is where Lowe's and Home Depot differ dramatically. With Lowe's, you will get a 5% discount on eligible purchases. The discount cannot be combined with other credit related promotional offers. So with Lowe's, you pretty much get 5% off everything, which is absolutely amazing. And best of all, you get it right there on the spot. So you are able to see your discount as soon as you pay. I love the 5% discount because it is a decent amount. 5% off of anything is a good number. Also with Lowe's, you get a 90 day return policy. So anything that you buy with your Lowe's credit card, you will have 90 days to return it, which is pretty good. And now let's switch over to Home Depot. What kind of rewards do they offer? Well, I hate to break it to you, Home Depot does not offer a discount. So with their credit card, you will not get 5% off of anything, but they do have rotating categories and products. So sometimes they have a sale or sometimes they have a promotion where you are able to get, I think five or 10% off that product or that service. Like with any other rotating category credit cards, the products and services change. For example, Home Depot might have a sale on appliances, but if you are shopping for plywood or tools, then you will not get the discount or the promotion. But with Lowe's, 5% discount off of everything. One thing that I do like about Home Depot is their one year return policy. Anything that you buy on your Home Depot credit card, you will have one full year to return it which is absolutely amazing. Lowe's is a clear winner when it comes to rewards, but the return policy, Home Depot takes it because theirs is way longer. 
And now let's talk about some of the cons that come along with each of these credit cards. With the Lowe's credit card, there is a late fee of up to $38. So if you are late on your payment, you will have to pay a $38 late fee. Also, there's no cash advance option. So if you are looking to take out cash off of your Lowe's credit card, you will not have that option. On the other hand, with the Home Depot credit card, there's no rewards. You're not going to get any cash back. You're not getting any like special rewards whatsoever. Also, with the Home Depot credit card, most of their limits are low. You might get approved for $500 or $1,000. While on the other hand, you'll be able to get approved for like $2,000 all the way to $5,000 on your Lowe's credit card. So if you want a higher limit on your credit card, then Lowe's is the answer. If you want to pay a little bit less in late fees, then Home Depot is the way to go. And now let's talk about the welcome bonus. We all love free stuff. We all love bonus money. With the Lowe's Advantage credit card, you'll be able to save 10% on qualifying purchases. And you'll be able to get up to $100 cash back on the purchase when you activate your credit card, which is pretty good. On Home Depot, you will save up to $100 on qualifying purchases. Also, both of these bonus offers are exactly the same. So this is another tie. So to take full advantage of this, you will have to spend $1,000 in order to get $100 cash back. If you have a project going on, make sure to buy all your material at once and then spend the $1,000. But if you do not have any plans, do not just spend $1,000 on random stuff to get the $100 cash back. It will not be worth it. Now that we have compared both of the credit cards side by side, you should have a clearer picture of which credit card is right for you. Also make sure to take the location of each store into consideration. If one store is closer than the other, you have to weigh the positives and the negatives of that store. If something is like two minutes away from your home, you have to think about the convenience that it will provide versus something that is 30 minutes away from your home. Is it worth driving 30 minutes for the benefits of one specific credit card? So take into consideration how close the store is to you, the distance that you will be driving, and what you like personally. Make sure to take all of that into consideration. All right, my honest opinion, I like the Lowe's credit card way better. Simply because they offer a better discount, the perks are better, and they offer awesome stuff. There's plenty of times where I have gone into Lowe's, I have spent money, and they offered me free shipping to my house simply because I used the credit card, which is absolutely awesome. I never decline free shipping, especially if I'm in the store and I do not have a lot of room in my vehicle and they offer free shipping, I take it. Also, when you get to know management on first name basis, you'll be able to take full advantage of your credit card and all the special perks that it offers. In Lowe's, you will get preferred treatment if you are a credit card holder, which is absolutely awesome, especially if you are a contractor, a real estate investor, or somebody that just spends a ton of money at Lowe's. You will get preferred treatment if you hold their credit card. On the other hand, with Home Depot, you will still be able to develop personal relationships with management at your store, and you will be able to get different perks as well. But as always, take everything into consideration, do your own research, and decide for yourself which credit card is best for you. All right, everybody, that concludes this video. Drop a comment below and let me know which credit card do you prefer, the Lowe's credit card or the Home Depot credit card. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and see you in the next video. Peace out.